Providence Theological Seminary Introduction to New Covenant Theology Video 2 Misconceptions Surrounding New Covenant Theology Part 1 During the period of 1977 to 1980, New Covenant Theology started to emerge as a developing theological system through the diligent labors of such men as Gary D. Long, S. Lewis Johnson, John Riesinger, and Tom Wells. New Covenant Theology is generally defined as follows. A theological system which emphasizes that Jesus Christ is the nexus and climax of God's plan in redemptive history. That the New Testament scriptures have interpretive priority over the Old Testament scriptures due to the former being the final revelation of God. And that the New Covenant truly is a new arrangement between God and man. This system also strives to maintain the biblical tension of continuity and discontinuity found in Scripture. For the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ, this eclectic theological system endeavors to break down the walls of doctrinal partition within and between the two theological paradigms that dominate evangelical Protestantism, dispensational theology and covenant theology. Dispensational theology is generally defined in the following manner. A theological system that tends to emphasize the elements of discontinuity between the Old and New Testament scriptures. This system divides redemptive history into a number of distinct time periods known as dispensations. Among its other distinctives, generally speaking, are its sharp distinction between Israel and the Church, a literal premillennial kingdom, a pre-tribulation rapture, and a restoration of national Israel. Covenant theology is generally defined as follows. A theological system stressing the elements of continuity between the Old and New Testament scriptures. This system holds the concept of covenant to be the central unifying theme of God's word. Specifically, it's covenant of works, covenant of grace schema. Among its other distinctives, generally speaking, are God's one redemptive plan, the Decalogue as God's unchanging moral law, often understood as God's eternal moral law, and Sunday as a Christian Sabbath. The system is also known as Reformed Theology. By consistently implementing the Protestant axiom of Sola Scriptura, Christotelic or Christocentric hermeneutics, and a Biblical theology, Proponents of New Covenant Theology seek to graciously challenge both of these theological systems in specific areas where each lacks scriptural foundation for its position. Let us pause briefly to consider the term Christotelic. The word Christotelic results from the combination of two Greek words, Christos, meaning Christ, and telos, meaning end or goal. A Christotelic hermeneutic views the Lord Jesus Christ as the ultimate goal or end of God's word and seeks to consistently interpret all scripture in view of this great truth. A Christotelic hermeneutic as defined by Providence Theological Seminary assumes outright that the Old and New Testaments together comprise the wholly inspired, wholly infallible, and wholly inerrant word of God, which is the sole authority of faith and practice in the life of a believer. Furthermore, this particular method of interpretation emphasizes five principles. Number one, the Lord Jesus Christ is the nexus of God's plan in redemptive history. Number two, all scripture either refers to Christ directly, for example, the gospel narratives, messianic prophecies, refers to Christ typologically, or prepares the way for Christ by unfolding redemptive history which ultimately points to his person and work, for example, the flood or the calling of Abraham. Number three, the New Testament scriptures must have interpretive priority over the Old Testament due to the former being the final revelation of God. Number four, an accurate analysis of a passage's context is key, local, literary, canonical, and historical. And number five, the principle of historical grammatical interpretation guided by the first four principles. In the gracious spirit of Priscilla and Aquila, 
Acts 18.26 Advocates of New Covenant theology strive to employ another Protestant maxim. Ecclesia Reformata Semper Reformanda Secundum Verbum Dei which is Latin for the church reformed and always reforming according to the word of God. By spirit wrought illumination, New Covenant theologians zealously labor to positively contribute to the ongoing reformation of the church's collective understanding of scripture, the gospel, and orthodox Christian theology. Since its inception, New Covenant theology has been misunderstood and mischaracterized by many of its theological critics and surprisingly by even a few of its proponents. Such confusion has significantly muddied the waters of New Covenant theology and has to a certain extent hindered its development and dissemination. The purpose of this video series is to objectively yet graciously address the principal misconceptions, both popular and doctrinal, surrounding New Covenant theology. Contact Providence Theological Seminary by emailing info at ptsco.org. Like Providence Theological Seminary on Facebook. Also follow PTS on Twitter at PTS underscore NCT. Check out the PTS blog, which is devoted to defining, describing, disseminating, and defending New Covenant theology. Subscribe to the Providence Theological Seminary Journal by emailing info at ptsco.org. Grace Church in Franklin, Tennessee will graciously host Providence Theological Seminary's Council on Biblical Theology from July 20th through the 23rd, 2015.